I don't even know that this envy secret is yours. Goldie and Teresa are both convinced that it's theirs. Whatever they're hiding will be nowhere near as bad as what I did. You were my last hope of stopping this coming out. And I have. I, I borrowed the money. There was a guy that I knew when I was inside, and he's doing really well for himself. He owed me a favour, so I've called it in. It's over. For now. It's always in the back of my mind that what I did will come out. It's why I don't like getting too close to people. We're close, aren't we? Yeah. I was talking about Romeo. I really like him. Baby, you can't keep living your life in fear. You've got to move on. Now, if you like that lad, then get out there and go and tell him. You're not bad at this dad stuff, are you? I'll do my best. I'll get lost. I've got stuff to do. <laughs> By the time the clock runs out, or the sin of envy is exposed. You'll get your money, all right? This envy secret, it is shared, isn't it? <laughs> hey, it's Grayson. Ah, oh, no, she's gone to Curtis's school. Uh, they announced the cast of the Nativity play. To say she isn't happy about the fact that he's been cast as a non-speaking shepherd is an understatement. When she gets back, can you get her to call me ASAP? Sounds serious. Anything I can help you with? Not unless you can lend me seven grand. I mean, maybe. I mean, not me personally, but I know somebody who would. Really? But, but these people don't have the same moral compass as you and I. You understand? Yeah. Do you need the money bad enough to get involved with them? That's what you need to ask yourself. Train ticket booked, check. Cheese and gherkin sandwiches made for the journey, check. Those buddies, Bill, we rank. You're not leaving till later tonight. Where are you going again? Only the event of the year. The Young Adults Market Owners Annual Conference. It's mostly virtual now, but Tom's the guest speaker. I'm so proud of you. Right, well, in that case, can we ensure you your pad? We just never get any own time. Please don't ever say pad again. Whatever. Give us your keys. I'd have to ask Cindy, and we both know what her answer would be. Things going well with you and Cher, then? Yeah. Well, I think so. She seems a bit distant sometimes. Oh. Well, maybe that's because she doesn't know where she stands. Could be time for the two of you to make things official. What? You think we should get married? No, I've seen your relationship statuses on Facebook. Hers says she's single, and yours says... These buns could do with a squeeze. My mum's doing a double shift at the hospital and Sammy's in court all day. So? So, our house is empty. Go and sort your relationship out. <laughs> wow. As far as pub decorations, that is the top scale of weird. You got the money? Yeah, I spoke to a fellow I know and, uh It's seven grand. Mercedes can't know about this, right? Too late. She already does. Yeah, uh, this is men's talk. So, do we have a deal or not? No, we don't. So you can take your men's talk somewhere else. Baby, why are you getting seven grand off him? Oh, MBs, Goldies? It's nothing to do with Goldie. Yeah, well, who's it to do with, then? Babe, can we just leave it, please? No, we can't. I'm not having you borrow money off him when he's connected to Grace. Silver, you... You're not acting like you. You're scaring me. Fine. The secret... The secret is Cher's. Cher? She's a gorgeous young girl with a world at her feet. What's she got to be jealous of? She was a kid at the time. She didn't mean it to happen. Mean for what to happen? Her sister died. And it was Cher's fault. It was a prank that ended really, really badly. 
But Cher lost her sister and she's had to carry that guilt around with her her entire life. That's why she didn't mind so much when her mum left her here. So she could leave her past behind and make a fresh start. Yeah. I get that. Oh, baby, and I know we're tight on money right now, but I've got that loan set up with Felix, so... Look, even if we do pay, they could still reveal her secret. I just... I just don't think we should. Oh, I just let everybody know what she's done. It was an accident. Right, and if we pay, it looks like she actually did something wrong, when from what you're saying, she absolutely didn't. I'm not sure about this, Merce. Well, I am, OK? I am not going to let that blackmailer wreck our lives anymore and call all shots. It ends now. You said you wanted to talk. Well, go on, then. Uh, yeah, but not here. You asked him the keys to hers, so I thought we could go there. You want to go to someone else's house while they're out? No, it's too weird. Whatever it is, just say it. Oh, fine. I just think we should start being more honest with each other. I really like you, Cher. And I like you. A lot. Do you actually? Sometimes I don't know where I stand with you. It's like you're here, but your mind is somewhere else. Look, I've had some stuff going on. But thanks to my dad, it's all sorted now. Size of him. I bet he could sort anything out. <laughs> Getting back to the point, are you trying to say you want to make things official? Be a real couple? Yeah. Well, the answer to that, Romeo Nightingale, it's a big fat yes! <laughs> I ain't having to keep that thing around for updates. You wanna put a smile on your gob? You wanna put punters off the pints? Sars. Switch what go over your speech again? No, no, I, I best not. Don't wanna overdo it. <laughs> Time's run out. The sin will be exposed. Envy is about to get what they deserve. No, you're about to get what you deserve. Because, you see, I had what you might call an epiphany. I've realised that if we're not ashamed of our sins, then you hold absolutely zero power over us. It's over. Mercy, I haven't told Sherry I'm paid up yet. Everyone, listen up. You know my stepdaughter, Cher? That's right, the drop-dead gorgeous one, mouth like the rest of us. She killed her sister. <laughs> 